Um, yeah, so uh, and normally about half, halfway through the session, 45 minutes in, we'll have a little break, give you a chance to um, use the loo if you need, have perhaps another cup of tea, uh, check your phone, whatever you need to do. And also in a way to kind of make a sort of kind of line between, okay, now we've spoken about your family of origin, now I want to hear about you. Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, so we'll start off then with hearing about your family. So, um, mum and dad, are they both still alive? Uh, yes. Okay, so we're going to start with your mum. What's your mum's name? Uh, Josephine. Okay, and how old is she? She is, uh, I'm trying to think how old she is. She's now 67. Okay, and where does she live? Uh, she lives quite close to me in a town called Camberley. Oh, yeah, so okay, okay. She's uh, originally from um, a town called Tadshaw mm-hmm. in I suppose, I'm trying to think what county is that now, um, near Sleaford, Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, okay. And is she in good health? Uh, yes. Yeah. Good health. And still with your dad? Yes. Okay, okay. So that's just some basics about her. Okay. Tell me a little bit about her life. What sort of family she grew up in, <clears throat> the, their, for example, their economic circumstances and how far she went in her education and those sorts of things. Um, she, I suppose her family were into farming, it's a quite rural area. Mm-hmm. I'd consider her to, uh, kind of to be relatively moderate lifestyle, Yeah. so decent. Um, her father um, moved on to set up a haulage company and mm-hmm. he, he, my perception is that he was very focused on aspects of the business. Yeah. Um, she, her education wise, she's not particularly advanced in terms of education. Yeah. Um, I think she left after school, um, and she she met my father not too long after then, and, and then moved down to the South of England. Okay. Um, at that point in time. And did she move guided by his work, by, by your father's work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Any really significant events during your mum's childhood that I need to know about? For example, the deaths of very close relatives, any abuse that she suffered from relatives, sexual abuse, emotional abuse. Mm-hmm. Any alcoholism on her, on the parent side, anything like that? She, like myself, suffered from asthma and some eczema. Um, so I, I think that okay. being in a rural sort yeah. of environment, yeah. that flared up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that meant she. I think there are aspects of her life that she struggled with at first. Yeah. yeah. The other aspect of it, I think is my my grandmother. She, she's as her siblings have two brothers. Yeah. Both have passed away, mm-hmm. um, and I think my grandmother favoured boys right. rather than right. girls. Oh, interesting. Okay. So she didn't feel like she was the favourite? I, I, no. Yeah, I think yeah. that's entirely fair to say she wasn't. And what order was she? Were the boys older? She was the youngest. She was yes. the youngest. Yes. So that, uh, and were the boys much older than her? Or uh, No, I would no. say three years and then another two okay. years above that. And just in case I forget to ask, they're both dead, you said? They're both passed away, yes. What, and what, what did they die from? Um cancer in both circumstances. Yeah, okay. But not particularly a familial cancer that... No. no, no. It was different. The, 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 both the, different. Both it different, wasn't yeah. as though it's uh, sort of hereditary... No, 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 okay. Or something like that. Okay, okay. So, so they both unfortunately kind of independently died of cancer. Yes. That's in their that. 60s, I guess. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's well, maybe late 50, Gosh, early 60s. Yeah. So, so that's it, unusual. Yeah, it, it was yeah. one of... Um, Sorry, stop me. If no, yeah, it's fine. But what the the eldest, um, I, I sense he was the, the favoured one. Yeah, um, yeah. He was very outgoing. Yeah. Um, he eventually, I suppose, took over the business, the haulage company from my, yes. my grandfather. Yes. Um, and he was also into motorbike and sidecar racing. So uh, he used to travel yeah. around a lot. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, it's exciting, but he, he won trophies and so it's very good at what he did. Yeah. Um, the the middle, so that's Mike. Middle was Ken, and um, he was probably a quieter yeah. one, yeah. Uh, and more introverted. Um, but then took over once the eldest died. died. Yep. Um, <clears throat> my grandmother actually moved in to, with Ken during yeah. his later years, yeah. And with um, her grandchildren, Ken's, yeah, Ken's, my Ken's cousins, children, yeah, yeah. Um, at that point, and, and bought quite a sort of um, very shared set of traits, yes. Uh, introverted individuals. Um, and then Ken died quite quickly after she'd been living with him for a number of years. Actually. Yes. 
So. And when Ken died, who took over the business? It, it went to his son. It went to his so, son. Yeah. Okay, so your mum didn't. She didn't get. So your mum was never involved in the business. Mum's never been no. involved. No. Right? I think she's she resented that, and that she doesn't have any expertise in in that yeah, area. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think it's, I would, I'm not going to call it. I struggle to call it traditional, but it's a very male yes. orientated, yes. passed down the male line. Yes. That's the way of thinking. And, yeah. Uh, well, I sort of imagine haulage might be you know in that sense because it's it is dominated by men. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no reason why it would have to be, but I could sort of imagine why it would be in a way. Yeah. My my grandmother, I think, was, was again, I'm hesitant to use the word traditional, but it's um, the mindset of yeah. that generation. That generation, yeah, yeah. And and you've mentioned that the, the the oldest was kind of quite a sort of a bit of a goer. You know, you know, very very extrovert. Ken was quite 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 a lot quieter. And your mum, where where would she have come in the personality mm. sort of? I would say she's somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle, okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, okay. All right, anything else I need to know about your mum's family of origin before we move on to... No, I would, I would say she's not particularly, in fact, one thing I say no, and then go on to talk something about something. Um, I would say that the family's not particularly close. Yeah. In fact, that's probably fair on both sides of my parents. Yeah. Um, she kind of moved away yeah so in some ways we're seeing a little bit of the black sheep for the family and that yeah. she's not doing yeah because she went south people. with your with your dad when she met him yeah precisely yeah, yeah. um yeah. but the sort of keeping in touch with cousins and so forth it, it's never really been a core part of the the family's values it's mm. not been a particularly tight-knit family I yeah yeah I in part because of geographical reasons yeah 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 okay so what we'll do now then is we'll do exactly the same but with your dad. So what's your dad's name? Edward. Okay. And how old is Edward? He's 72 now. Okay, so he's... And your mum... Uh, she's 67, so it's okay. five years difference. Five years difference, okay. And what's his uh, help like? Yes, um, relatively good. Good? Yeah, I think same good. as my mother. Okay, good. Um, he's, he's quite active. So right. He likes to play golf. Lovely, yeah. I, I would say he's more... Sort of intellectually capable mm -hmm. than, my, than my mother. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't go particularly high in terms of qualifications when he was younger. Yeah. He, he met my mother whilst he, um, I think he was uh, working in the uh, auction years. Yeah. Uh, house yeah. at Sleaford, which is quite near where my mother yeah. lived at the time. Um, but he's kind of gone back and gone through further education yeah. um, later in life. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, so I, probably might, I might forget to ask. So, what, what, what's he done later in life? Has he done degrees? Or? Yeah, he's did masters. Oh, so cool. He went to he did it through Open University. Yeah. Um, I suppose in, in short, he was a, a surveyor. Um, so he probably looked after the property for a, a company. Yeah. Um, uh, there was the massive recession during the nineteen eighties. Yeah. Um, and as part of the so it's reskilling of that he went through and to make his Sound a little bit more so it's desirable from a CV perspective. He went back and, and he did, a, I think it's a, in marketing, um, he did that in marketing and that. So oh. he's quite keen on sort of education and continued development. Yeah. But originally he would have gone to what A levels, would he, do you think? Do you, I don't even think he did that. No, GCS, no, sort yeah, of A O level yes, levels, yeah, yeah exactly. and then went straight to work. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Um, and then he met your mum, they moved down south, and he's he's always been involved in that sort of work, has he kind of? He has been. Yep. He's also involved in local authority work, so he's been mm. councillor, okay. um, a county councillor for a while. Yeah. Um, and my mother got involved with that after. Yeah. So he kind of likes politics. Yeah. Um, What's his political persuasion? He's a conservative councillor. Yeah. I wouldn't describe him everyone's very left or right wing and spectrum is relatively central really yeah right. okay so yeah so yeah yeah but it happens to be yeah line to yeah like yeah conservatives okay. I think that's the core values mm. but um, mm. some extreme Brexit here no I know no, 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 no. I can understand perhaps um Sometimes those jobs are also very good opportunities to meet local people and, you know, become part of the local community as much as anything else. It is, and, oh. and I think he's, we seem to have done quite a lot as part of that. He's been on some planning committees, yeah. and because that's where he's kind of subject area expertise. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, he's helped out some local residents with mm -hmm. their planning mm -hmm. and help stop things and make things go through as well. Mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, my perception is I've quite a lot for local, a local 
Me too. Do you think he would have liked to have been an MP? Yeah, I think he would.